sales reports. Sales reports can be broken down by time period, location, device and staff member. They can also be broken down further by products and categories, for example. To view your sales report, select sales report tab on the left hand side. Firstly, let's look at time intervals. Remember, we can show data from various time frames. We'll view today. You can filter by location, by devices, by staff, and here we can also filter by wet and dry if you're a hospitality business. You can now show by the time interval. We'll do this half hourly. Today, this will now show all transactions between a 30 minute interval. Again, you can select the blue header titles to put information in ascending or descending order. The blue row at the bottom of each report is a total. For example, shows you total transactions for today, total refunds, total sales, including tax, and further information scrolling across. As a reminder, all reports when viewed on a PC or laptop can be exported via CSV, Word, Excel or printed. We've covered time intervals. Let's look at time periods. Again, select the date, filter by location, device or staff members, and select your time interval, yearly, quarterly, monthly, weekly, daily or hourly. This will now show you your time periods set as days. Again, totaling all sales information in the blue row. You can also view time comparisons. This is great for viewing different trends. You can set your metric, transaction quantity, refunds, voided, sales, you can choose which information you want to see and for what period. We'll have a look at sales, including tax. The date range, this month, compared to previous month. Here, the first period is set in blue, and the second period is set in orange. This graph, you can see it shows the correct date compared to the second period last month. You also have information on your first period compared to your second period and any differences. You can view sales by product. We can view today, set our filters. Now we can search by product name or filter by any tags if you've set those when adding your products. Here are today's products that have been processed through the till. The quantity, the sale including tax, and sale excluding tax. We also have our cost price, total margins, and margin percentage. Again, being totaled up in the dark blue row. You can view information on sales by employees, sales by various location, sales on device groups, sales by size, and also miscellaneous products. Remember, miscellaneous products are items we do not track stock for. These are items that perhaps we don't normally sell. 
you can view that information in miscellaneous products under sales report. For hospitality, you may wish to view reports on wet and dry and how many covers. You can view promotion reports, reports on brands, and reports on suppliers. These have additional sales factors, sales including tax and excluding tax, and also profit margins. You can break these down even further to show products by scrolling down. You can view reports on customer types and also reporting and till categories. Again, these could be broken down further by showing the products and scrolling down. You may also have multiple choice products within your till. Sales reports, as a reminder, are a breakdown of time periods, locations, devices and staff, and can be broken down for more information on sales reporting, including total sales, including or excluding tax, cost prices, including or excluding tax, and information on profit margins. Do make yourself familiar with your sales reports. These will be really handy for making important business decisions and to view trends. We'll now go on to stock reporting. 